Well, turning waste into something useful is not a novel idea. You know the saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Well, that's especially true when it's free and it makes your garden grow. Twyla's Taylor Fry shows us how Lafayette Parish turns fallen limbs and yard debris into gardening gold. What some call trash, Vince Beckett calls treasure. We pick up the yard waste is our main concern. Not just to keep Lafayette Parish looking clean, but also to help the environment. We have so many things that are throwaways, uh, or that we consider to be throwaways. Recycle programs are great because they allow us to reuse things that we think are no longer of use. So he takes these limbs and shrubs and brings them to a place where they can be used again. Well, actually, we take it to the compost station. This is Lafayette Compost Facility. Look at this. Lafayette at this Parish thing. Environmental Quality Manager Mark Pope is holding what he calls Mother Nature at work. We process only natural plant growth. Just like soil is decomposed organic material back, this is what we have here. This natural plant growth is either dropped off by Lafayette residents for $6 per cubic yard or city garbage trucks. Then this machine breaks it down. You create what's called a substrate. You allow the oxygen in the air to come in and break it down. It's got natural nutrient content. And the best part, Lafayette residents can pick it up for free. So you use that as a soil amendment. You grow some great flowers and some great vegetables. A win-win for the Lafayette community and the environment. I encourage everybody to recycle, as a matter of fact. Plastic bottles, trees and shrubs, as we do here. It's, it's a great program. Pope says one reason why people don't pick up the free compost is because they think termites and weed seed live in the compost. But Chris and I learned that since the temperature gets up to about 140 degrees that those things can't live in the compost. So, so this is my interesting question for you. On a scale of 1 to 10, how bad did it smell? It didn't smell bad at all. I was, I told him, I said, at least you didn't get the stinky garbage <laughs> job. It has to smell better than chicken litter because yes. that does stink. Definitely. Good story, Taylor. Well, still to come on this week in Louisiana agriculture, September is National Rice Month, and I'll bring you a countdown of the reasons why rice is nice in my Ag Minute. But first, feral hogs are causing problems across Louisiana. What can you do to help? We'll tell you right after this. Stay with us. Thank you.